All right, so here's the deal. Our printer is janky as hell. The <laughs> printer I've ever bought in my life. And it, it, it printed on a photo. Uh, one of the photos you get with a disposable camera. So good, good. Let, let me read these small words. Like, hey, what's good guys? Keaton here. So by now you probably have heard that Apple's planning to get rid of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right here. And the reasoning is they wanna have the headphones go into the lightning port, which I'm not a big fan of, but I wanted to give it a chance. So I picked up these Philips headphones that have a lightning cord, so let's go. So here's the bottom line. If Apple gets rid of the headphone jack in order to make the new iPhone 7 thinner, um, and just a side note here, if this is not thin enough for you, I really don't know what is. You know what, your next phone can be a piece of paper for all I care. Like, it does not need to be any thinner. And if you agree with me, drop a like rating on this video. So if Apple gets rid of the headphone jack and it's kind of looking like they are, they're not gonna just leave you high and dry with all your other headphones. So that means they're gonna sell you an adapter. I'm gonna take a wild shot and say, probably gonna be 80 bucks, and uh, it'll convert your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack headphones to the lightning pair of headphones, which is really depressing because you just spend all these money on headphones that work with every other device, you know, your Macs, all your other Android devices, and really all the other iOS devices up until this point, and now they just don't work unless you spend another $80. So if they ditch the headphone jack, you're only left with two options. One is wireless headphones, and what kind of sucks about these is they're expensive. You can't really find a pair for less than $200 that sound good. You have to charge them, which if you're someone like me, that isn't always the first thing on your mind. And the sound quality isn't as good as a pair of wired headphones, for example. Now, well, like literally, they're probably gonna ditch it, so who am I kidding? And that's gonna be the status quo. I just, oh, I don't wanna spend any more money for headphones that I'm so content with and that work with my Mac back there, my tablets, and pretty much all the devices that I have now. And the last thing that just has me so flustered about this is what happens if you wanna to listen to music and charge your phone at the same time? Now, I know this might not be the thing you do every single day, but it's something that you've done at least once in your life. And for me, it's usually when I'm working out, and while that might not be as frequent, and I know Matt's laughing behind the camera back there, um, it's something I do. So, for example, I like to listen to music and have my phone on a dock, or in like its Mophie case or whatever, and, uh, well, that works with this option here. Once you occupy this, am I gonna need another adapter for that? It just is like, it's more, it's causing more headaches than it's fixing. So with all this craze about the new iPhone not featuring the headphone jack, it kinda got me thinking, and I wanted to actually check out a pair of headphones that only feature the lightning port and just really don't have the headphone jack on there at all. And I found these Philips M2L headphones as these are kind of the only ones out on the market. And to be honest, they sound pretty good. Um, they have a built-in DAC, which made the audio sound better than normal. But then again, I'm literally comparing them to Beats, so Apple EarPods sound better. Like, let's get real here. So the audio sounded really good, um, and I guess they're just okay for being a over-ear pair of headphones. I'm not a huge fan of over-ear headphones, but it was kind of a nice change. And I guess the lightning port was nice because, you know, it just goes in and it's easy to find and it's nice and thick, so your fingers don't have to fumble around with it. But I guess the big issue that I had was I was at school one of the days and I needed to charge my phone. I was in my car and I was also listening to music. Trust me, these are things that a normal Keaton does and I couldn't, so. That is what happened, and I just ended up letting my phone die because Fetty Wap needed to be played. And the other downside is, if you buy these headphones or just any lightning-enabled headphones, you can only use them with your iOS devices, at least anything from an iPhone 5 to the present day. So that means your Mac back there, guess you're just gonna be listening to the regular speakers. You can't use them with Android devices. Tablets could be isolated. It's literally causing more problems than it is fixing. So in conclusion, and since Apple watches my YouTube videos, you guys know that with that battery case thing, my idea. So since they watch my videos, I really hope they see that this isn't a good move at all. It's not smart to have this go like this to make this thinner. Um, there goes literally all my Apple ear pods that I've ever owned. Tons of people who have like really nice headphones that they use with their phones or other devices, I guess those kind of go bye-bye. And I just don't think it's a smart move. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys agree. And go ahead and get subscribed if you haven't already. And follow me on Snapchat and Twitter as I'm super active over there. And let's hope that Apple doesn't do this. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.